Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Stormy collection, just specifically the mini lip kits because I am your lip kit girl. I always got you guys. I'm going to be comparing them in two different lighting situations. Also going to do a swatch comparison, two things that I think might be a little bit similar in my personal collection. And as always, timestamps are going to be in the description below. If you're just looking for one shade, I got you guys. So today I decided to wear my pink wig. It's linked down below. But I did it because it's very springtime-y, at least for me. So I just thought that it just worked together, you know what I'm saying? So first up, we're gonna be doing Stormy, which is what I have on. I can show ya, or I can make you mine. I need your love, cause it gets me high. I need your love, it's got me mesmerized. So first of all, I want to comment on how cute and little these little mini lip kits are. They're the same size as the mini lips from previous collections, so if you're wondering about that. I think it's really cute that they come in this little size. It kind of reminds me of Valentine's that you would give your friends, especially because it has the to and from right here. But I think it's so beautiful. I love the coloring and I love the butterflies. I'm assuming it's something that Stormy is really obsessed with, so I think that that's a little bit of a nice homage to her. The Stormy Mini Matte Lip Kit is described as a mid-tone orangey pink color. So I actually thought that this was going to be a lot more orange than it is, but that goes to show you everybody's lips are going to be different. It's going to be different on different lighting, which is why I always like to give you guys two different lighting situations, outdoors and indoors. I got this more as like a pinky nude color with like a hint of orange in it, but I love this nude color. Honestly, I think that it's stunning and beautiful. I'm definitely interested to see how it compares to other nudes that I do have, but I think that it is a beautiful color. Perfect for the springtime. I actually feel like this whole entire packaging is perfect for springtime. I'm assuming that Stormy is going to be a permanent. Otherwise, why would she name a lip kit after her daughter and then not make it permanent? That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be permanent. And now, currently the collection is sold out, but she is restocking it later this month. So... I got you guys. Next up, we're going to be doing Head in the Clouds. And Head in the Clouds is a pink berry color. She love how I'm rocking it. Betty's all up on my rocket ship. And she call me Zaddy and she got a fatty and she's so provocative. I'm touring and rocking shit. Yeah, she love how I'm confident. Yeah, I'm dope at the shows and my shoes and my clothes and my glow is just hard to miss. And she think that is destiny. Always save the best for me. Can't sleep when you text me so sexually. I swear I got that recipe. Make your body rest in peace. Baby, I'ma do you right. This color is so beautiful, so stunning and gorgeous. I love it. It's definitely like, again, all this whole collection is very reminiscent of like youthful vibes, which I really like. Very spring playful. I think that coming out with this stormy butterfly collection couldn't come out at a better time of the year, honestly. I also kind of like how it's a little bit vibrant too, you know what I'm saying? It makes it a little bit different and I love how it looks with this whole entire look. I think I picked the right wig and makeup look for this haul, so I'm super excited about that buzzing. Okay, on to the last lip kit, which is Give Me Butterflies, and Give Me Butterflies is a petal pink color. It's obvious, photo shoots, compliments, yeah. She gave me your number, she's here for the summer, I'm falling when autumn hits. She think that I'm Hollywood, but she know that she got it good. Every bar, every place, it's on the books, it's understood. I know we got that famous look, but we ain't from this neighborhood. Baby, wouldn't it be I don't know ya, but I can see the signs. I can show ya, or I can make you mine. So this is a beautiful, gorgeous color to end on. The name of that makes me think of Casey Musgraves' Butterfly Song. Now you lift me up, set old me down. Such a beautiful color. I think the name is perfect for it too because it's very, that's such a romantic song if I'm right about where the name comes from. And I think that this is very like romantic, youthful, spring fall, and it's so gorgeous. 
I especially love how it looks like with my eye makeup look and my wig. It looks so cute. It definitely is exactly what I picture for something coming around this springtime. But I think that this is a beautiful color. I'm definitely also interested to see how this compares to colors that I think might be a little bit similar. Next up, I'm gonna do some swatch comparisons for you guys. So if you feel like there's a color that you would like to see that I do not cover in this swatch comparison, comment down below, let me know what you wanna see and I'll get that out to you as soon as I can. So first up in my swatch comparison, I have Tipsy, Head in the Clouds, and Rosy Cheeks. Now, I think that Rosy Cheeks isn't really that similar to Head in the Clouds, so I'm going to focus on these two. I definitely feel like Tipsy is the darker sister to Head in the Clouds, and I also feel like Head in the Clouds is more rosy compared to Tipsy. Next up, I have Allergic to the Bull Poop, Stormy, and Queen. These are definitely different to Stormy. I'm wondering if maybe you guys want me to do um, Stormy compared to more peachy nudes that we have out there. Comment down below, let me know which one you want me to do. I think that Stormy and Queen are like cousins, but Queen is much more dark and Stormy has more of a peach element to it. So last up I have Ulta Beauty, Gimme Butterflies, and Sweater Weather. So definitely compared to all th three of these, Gimme Butterflies is lighter, more rosy. Ulta Beauty is a lot darker, and Sweater Weather has more of a nude element to it compared to Gimme Butterflies. And that's my swatch comparison. So that concludes my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I always genuinely appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click my face right here and you can watch some of my other latest Kylie Cosmetics videos right here. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.